Hello people, it's September, it's brand new month and I feel like I have to make a video at this point because so much happened in August that it's just crazy. Anyway, we'll start with the useful things first and I try to keep it minimal and boring at the same time. So you search for replay analyzer, yes it has the word anal in it, analyzer 2003. And the first page that comes up, and this is amazing how simple this is you view this page right here you click on download and blah 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 and you do your things and you're done next 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 set this will lead you to your program files and you're gonna have this folder NASCAR 2003 replay analyzer in there you're gonna have the file hopefully it starts right away with no issues for you as well now before you go anywhere else let me just go straight to what you need to do before you do anything else you go to tools replace settings and right here you select whichever data that you want to record if you have a crappy computer the more you put, the slower your game is going to get. Right here, I have the clicker set at record telemetry physics at whatever rate the physics go at 288 Hz. If you have an old slow computer, don't do it like that. Do it like this. It will take it the samples of data, I think, six or eight times slower than it would if you go like this. As you can see by the kilobit per minute file output dramatically decreases if you don't do this so we're gonna go simple truly it's both ways are good depends on what computer you got driver input car setup pit stop tire data wheel data chassis and drive line this would be the four important ones one two three and four you click ok it says that it's been updated successfully you're done here your old replays are not going to have the extra data. So at this point, forget your old replays. As soon as you did this, you need to go and drive the car, save the replay file, like name it testing replay or whatever, and uh, go back to the screen. I already did my laps with the new data. I'm not going to go right now. I'll do a separate video just not to make it too long I already have a replay saved so you save your replay just like you save your replay anywhere um, name it whatever you want and then you go file add replay lab super simple I haven't even messed with all the settings myself because we just discovered this thing a few days ago you add a replay lab and this is my list of replays that I already have you're already going to have probably some of your old replays, which are not going to have the data. You need to make your own new replay. Let's say this is a replay from number one, whatever. You're going to get to this window, which I'm not even sure. I'm not completely like not even looking there. We're going to go here, practice, because I ran a testing session. You don't need to run a race or anything. You could do it through testing session. I only did one lap just to record it and get telemetry. And here you got your one lap. You click OK and you got your track. This is Irvindale track that we're going to be racing on from now on. Um, right here, you select your line if you want to look at it. Here I went. I wasn't really racing. I was more getting telemetry data and stuff like that, like horsepower and revs and all that. But you could see G-forces that we're experiencing, RPM, miles per hour, throttle, brake. Like, look at this. But this is simple shit. We don't care about that. What we're going to go is right here at this graph display graph settings. This is what it is, a real technical, real deal shit right here. Open that up. And I mean, those of you that messed with telemetry apps are probably not surprised at all. But what I'm surprised is, is this exists for NASCAR. You select your lap right here. And here I, here I have my basic data of how fast I was going. But let's go to advanced. And these are the settings that you had to manually set up through the tools menu and we click on engine power and this you can see here I was just testing it in neutral and revving it like wah, 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 bouncing off the rev limiter 
and the recorded horsepower as you can see 450 horsepower peaking at that here you could see me driving more normally getting to that point kind of going and the top right there is about 445 it's a modified engine for the super late models that we're running but basically this thing right here allows you to view engine power torque acceleration everything that you need if you do a little bit look up on youtube and look like telemetry setup youtube something something you realize what this is and how this all works but here comes the first video in september hopefully i will make more you see each separate tire here has its own graph left to right everything that you need to know everything literally more than you need to know yeah steering roll pitch everything so i'm gonna kill it right here this is a sample video september 3rd hope i'll make a few more before finished and we'll slowly start working with this thing and i'll show you step by step how anybody could do anything now this guy is really the key to whatever's going on peace guys i'm gonna come through and beat master truck yeah